Okay, hey guys, what's up? Evil Zombie here. So today I want to tell you about a new lens I just got for this camera that I'm recording with right now. Not the, the C920, but the, what's it called? The Makos lens. The one's from Makos, Makosi? Makos. Um, basically the CCTV camera that I've been using. It's a manual focus. Like if I get close, it's going to be blurry and it's not going to autofocus. It's not what it does. I just zoom it into where I am. Well, I've been using the default 3.2 millimeter lens for this, and that's just what it came with, and I ordered another lens for it on eBay. It was only about 20 bucks, so it was actually a pretty good price. This lens. <laughs> the original lens is like that long. This is this. <laughs> this is a lens. This is a telescopic lens. Uh, it can do wide. It can do telescopic, as you can see oh, wait, right here. It can be, so basically the zoom. It's crazy big on that part. Um, it has a nice little lens cap on both sides. Let's see. I can open or close the ISO more right here. And farther in, I can do a near or far field of view. Hold on, guys. The dog's barking. Okay, he stopped barking, so I'll say it real quick. So, basically, I'm going to show you in just a second what the difference looks like when this lens is attached and it's fully set up and everything's done. So you get to see what it looks like right now with the 3.2 millimeter, and then you get to see next uh, this lens, which is 6 millimeter to 60 millimeter. So this is a much bigger deal of a lens. And it says, yeah, there you go. 6 to 60. I'll go back here, it's a little more in focus. Is my focus up there? I might need to adjust this thing then. 6 to 60 uh, and 1.6. 1, 1. So, yeah, there you go, and it's a CS mount. That's what kind of lens this camera specifically uses. So you're going to see that in just a second, because I'm going to hook it all up and re record. Actually, I might be able to just do that right here. Hmm. Okay, so here's what it looks like with it um, set pretty close to me. I have the camera about two feet away. I have the lens on there, and I do notice, that, what's the word for it, vignetting or something? Where I have the black around the corners, I'm noticing that. I don't know how to take care of that yet. I will figure it out. I might just use this for game recordings and then use my other lens for big recordings. I can switch back and forth the lenses, that's fine. Uh, but this way it's nice and close to my face and I can just chop off the sides for when I'm doing a gameplay recording because I like to keep just a small version of myself in the corner, you know? I can just chop off the corners, it's fine. So far I'm liking it. <coughs> I really like how clear it is. That does stand out to me. It's a nice, crisp image. And I have no... My dog is barking at that. But it looks good. I like to have, where it has some, bl some blur behind me. That's natural. That's with the lens. That's not software. So I like that. Um, the only problem I have is that black edges. I can't use it for some things because of that. But for the price, it's not bad. And I can zoom in, I can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this lens. I can make it clearer, I can make it blurrier, I can zoom in to where I'm that far away from something and I can have a good focus on it. So I can do a lot of stuff with this. And I love that. I love the narrower field of view. That's one of my favorite things. <laughs> I mean, I love that, where I can just focus on the area that I want you to see. So you don't have to look at my desk, you don't have to look at any of that stuff. I like that. And it's easy to adjust the depth. I just ta uh, lightly touched the, what's it called, the, the lever or the knob for it, whatever it is. And it adjusts. So my thoughts on this lens, it's good for gameplay videos. For other stuff, I don't know yet. I will figure it out. It's mostly made for a CCTV. Of course, I have someone drive by the house right then. It's mostly made for CCTV, for a closed caption uh, transmitting system, you know, where you, like a security camera. That's basically what the lens is made for, but it looks good for recording too. So I'm excited. I want to try out more stuff. And I'll see if I can figure out that. If there's any workaround for it, I'll let you know. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. My opinions, it's pretty good. I got it for 20 bucks on eBay. I can't complain. If I can find ones that are similar or just find this one, I'll just give you the link directly below. Um, I have no idea if they have this one on Amazon. I'll have to take a look. If I find it, I'll put the link below. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.